How much money do vloggers make on YouTube? I mean, have you ever asked yourself this question? Because me, myself, as a vlogger, I have definitely wondered because, my goodness, sometimes you look at the people's lives on this, the YouTube, the vloggers especially. Oh, I bought my wife a car on her 30th birthday. And then on her 31st birthday, I bought her another one. You know, you know, that they're like, wow, wow. I would really, 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 really like to know how much vloggers actually make on YouTube. Well, if you're nosy like me, hi. But it's not just about being nosy. It's about knowing whether it is like a viable form of content for us YouTubers. And I love YouTube as a business. For me, it's a business. And I want to know, is there as much money in vlogging as it is sometimes portrayed? So that I know whether that's the kind of niche that I would like to get into. So that's what we are talking about today. And I'm so excited that you're here. Because here on this channel, we're all about growing your impact and income and influence on YouTube. So yeah, let's get into it. So yeah, let's spill the tea. Because you know, we have all been very, very curious. And let me tell you right off the bat, I would like to say that there is no straightforward answer to this question. And I'm going to explain to you why. I know sometimes when we look at YouTube, we, we look at success in terms of views and subscribers and all that. But the real success is in actually how much is going into your pocket. Because if you are a YouTuber or an upcoming YouTuber or an aspiring, aspiring YouTuber, you want to know, will it be worth my effort? How, what will the return on investment actually look like in monetary terms okay but let me tell you it is not straightforward the world of youtube can be very confusing because it is not the person with the highest views or the highest subscribers who actually makes the most money but we also have to agree that vloggers generally tend to make more money than other channels because anybody wants to see how everybody else is living their lives you know it's all interesting and all that and so I have found personally that they, those are the channels that get to have the most views, but that's not the only thing that determines how much money they make. So I have shared this in a video that was talking about different ways on how to monetize your income and how many ways, there are so many ways in which you can make money from your YouTube channel and from one particular video, but it is important we actually debunk some myths. Okay, so how much money can one really make with vlogging? For small channels, about 10,000 subscribers and below, we're talking just enough money for a pizza party to be able to buy you lunch and not that much. Definitely not that much. But that is not to discourage anyone. I think channels at this stage should generally focus on building an audience first. But let me leave a caveat here and say it depends again on your niche but remember we are talking about vlogging vlogging like day in my life this is what i ate this is what i wore and all that and again remember we're just talking about adsense there are many ways these other channels could be making money i remember i started making money on my other channel way before i even got monetized by youtube i've done a whole video on that please check it out but remember we're talking about adsense here and how much a vlogging channel can make so this is just to give you like to help you manage your expectations in terms in terms of adsense and also to help you plan ahead the second category is for mid-sized channels i'm talking 10,000 to 100,000 subscribers and for these vlogging channels speaking strictly from in terms of adsense and maybe now at this point they're getting a bit of sponsorships here and there they could make enough to be like a part-time income. Not enough to sort of sustain uh, their lifestyle, but definitely enough to be able to take care of some of their bills, like part-time, okay? And here is when you start seeing uh, the creator has become a lot more confident. Uh, brands are starting to take notice because brands are a huge part of income for vloggers especially so yeah that's that things are getting a bit easier but again still not enough to live off remember i did a video just recently on why going full-time on youtube is a scam in this day and age where i live so please check out that video it has a lot more detail but basically mid-sized channels can can afford to sort of like have a bit of money to say that at least there's a bit of return on investment but for sure for sure not enough 
to go full time unless you're again playing it as a business and doing other things on the site. Now, for large channels, we're talking 100,000 subscribers and above, such channels can be making even six figures and above. But this is because at this point, they have diversified their income. They're not just relying on AdSense, they're getting sponsorships, they're doing much, they're doing so, so many other things. And at this point, I would imagine, I mean, we know all these vloggers, most of them would be full-time by now. And again, it depends on where you live and also be very, very smart to keep your expenses low and also being business savvy. Being business savvy is so important, you guys. It's so important. I feel like it is for me right now where I have reached with my other channel, it's more about being more business savvy than the views day will come when it was. Uh, it is absolutely not a sustainable way of life especially if you have reached a certain point and you have a family and you're sustaining and everything so being business minded on youtube is so so important and that's why i am not even um i don't have an issue investing in my youtube growth and doing whatever it takes reading books subscribing to things that are going to help me to grow as a youtuber because i look at it as investing in my business so that is all very very important because now at some point you just have to stop relying on adsense it is not enough to sustain you long term again check out the video that i have done showing how many ways in which you can monetize your video depending depending on where you are on your journey but first and foremost the most important thing is to focus on actually building your audience focus on getting better as a creator focus on making more interesting videos because nothing else is going to come if you're not attracting people if your audience and your community is not growing of course the ads will not be there the sponsorships will not be there you won't have a lot of people to sell to your match and you won't have a community that is willing to support you and everything so it is so important whichever journey which wherever you fall on this scale whether you're a small channel a mid -size channel or a large channel the first and foremost thing that you always have to think about is your viewer so let's focus on that focus on where we are be willing to do whatever it takes to get better and better whether you're vlogging or whatever kind of content you are doing there is a financial reward if you do not give up and before you leave just remember to check out that other video i told you about that talks about various ways in which you can monetize your videos and i'll see you over there bye